Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and in front of us I have this uh, 70 millimeter discus padlock, um, and it's made by Chateau. Uh, this isn't a brand we get in the UK, and actually this was sent to me kindly by the legal lock picker. Please do go check out his channel. And um, you know we were discussing uh, locks, and um, he said he sent me one of these because I'd mentioned that we. I'm just interested in all these kind of chateaus. I think they do a, a tubular core one as well, I think, which I'm, I'd really like, because I like um, uh, you know locks with slightly different um, locking mechanisms. What does it say about this? It says it's a um, case hardened steel shackle, heavy duty uh, laser welded case, anti-pick, six pin tunnel, oh, six pins, okay, nice, not not five. Rust free, same sole body, easy grip keys, uh, lifetime warranty, all weather, okay. Um, I haven't heard that these are particularly great locks, but um, um, let's have a, an explore anyway. Can we slide it out from there? Yeah, we can. Okay. Um, put that there as a little bit of backdrop. Let's have a look at the keys. Are they six pins? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. That's not so bad, is it? Okay, I, I, I like that. Not bad bitting, actually, come to think of it. It's quite high. Pin number two there, and then number three. What does it feel like? It's got that nice reassuring weight to the um, the the shackle mechanism there. Yeah, not too bad at all. Um, right, let's have a go at picking this. I've got a, uh, a pick in 20 thousandths here, and that could work. I've also got a 23 thousandths um, south of max. Uh, what else could I use? Ooh, tension tools, tension tools. Um, well, let's have a look at this one. This one is a thin down tension tool. That might work. Okay, actually, I could, I could work with that. Should we try this one first and um, see where we get to? Don't know much about this uh, lock, what's inside it, how, it, how it's going to pick. Uh, okay, we had uh, something on pin four there. I think I overset something. Just trying to have a feel around inside here. Might need to go to that thinner um, hook, just so get a little bit more of a feel inside that lock. Work my way round the back, and oh, I don't know if, whether we're open or whether that's a false set or something. I don't know. Okay, let's uh, let's have a little rummage around, see what we get. It could be that it's open actually. Um, let's have a go at putting a, something a bit heavier in there to turn it. Must have a, oh yeah, a little bit of vent wiper blade might work. Uh, no, it appears that we are not open. I thought for a second we might be, because I felt that core turn. Um, so clearly there is something left to pick on the inside. Let's have a feel around. Oh, and it was pin three. There is a spool in there. Who knew? And we're open. Okay, so yeah, that, that's really odd. I thought um, that maybe in this lock, because uh, sometimes the mechanism here is quite heavy, and when you're tensioning off the, the bottom, it can be really hard to turn it around. So I thought um, I'd picked it, it just had got sort of stuck or jammed. It turns out that that isn't the case, and it looks like there's actually a spool pin in there. Um, I thought it was gonna be all standards, but I swear that's some counter rotation on pin three, I think. So yeah, uh, that, that surprised me. Um, 
I, I'd heard that these are absolutely terrible locks, but it turns out it's actually a little bit better than I was expecting, which is really nice. Okay, cool. So that's the Chateau C9 7070mm um, discus uh, padlock. And um, yeah, whilst it's certainly not quite as good as, say, uh, you know, an Abus discus, it's, it's only not too bad either. Right. Thanks for you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.